Good morning. I have the horrible news. I don't know what happened. Yesterday's video, the entire thing was recorded in slow motion. I met Big Nick. He he said stuff for my video. I didn't even know my camera could do that. He said stuff for my video, and it's all in slow motion. Big Nick, if you ever if you ever watch this, bro, let, let me meet you one more time, bro. I got over it, kind of, but you know it happens. Oh well. There's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing I can do about it. I tried everything, didn't work. So, yeah, I can't do anything about it. No need to worry about it. Oh well, it happens. I'll meet Big Nick again. You know, I'll meet Big Nick again. Who knows, I might meet someone else, you know? You never know. This is just a stepping stone that in case anything awesome ever happens again, to make sure that my camera will record it or something. <laughs> All right, I gotta get ready, bro. Uh, you guys wanna know my dinner last night? Famous Amos. Or Amos, I don't know. Dude. Jeez. Just for safety, I have this here. Because as soon as someone walks in that I didn't let in, well, that might not wake me up, but we'll see. Bye, guys. <laughs> Open sesame. I kind of forgot that I just woke up. <laughs> we have one more flight. I think it's only like an hour. Now, I know I said I wouldn't really talk about it, but I mean, I kind of did title the video. I met Big Nick. I did, which I did. Yeah, it's all good though. It'll, it'll come back. The It'll come back, you know? So it's all right. God is good. God is good. All right, but let me tell you guys what's going on. So right now, I'm just waiting for the shuttle to come pick me up and drop me off at the airport. And then, what's it called? My flight is at 10 o'clock and I'm gonna be at the airport by like 7.30. So I'm gonna go, it's 7.18 right now, by the way. So I'm gonna go. Checking my or putting my bags through T TSA and um, probably look for something to eat. So let's just wait for this damn shuttle. I might walk outside. It's pretty nice. It's 7 a.m. in Dallas, Texas, right now, and it's actually pretty nice, man. The morning is it's a little humid. You can definitely tell, but if you're used to it, it's a beautiful morning, bro. It feels perfect out here. But I know as the day goes on, it just turns into hell like quickly or more and more. Man, I was gonna do a little segment. I was gonna do something cool, but as soon as I turn, that car moving over there, or that just stopped, that van right there, that's my shuttle. Man, all right. We're in the entrance. Now we're going through TCA, TSA. I keep saying TCA. So I had to talk to security because I didn't know where my gate was at, but I got it. B33. We're at B30 right now. Look at this, man. Ooh. Look at this. I'm gonna go check my gate just in case it's not the right one. I'm gonna check it and then we can finally go get some food, man. I haven't had real food in so long. So, I didn't even get to have a word out. I go up to the counter, I'm like, bro, hey, man, wait, okay. And then he says, are you this person? I'm like, oh, no, 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 I just have a question. He's like, okay, I don't have time for you right now. I'm like, oh, all right. So now I'm just walking back and I'm just gonna go get food, man. I ain't gonna deal with that. My flight doesn't leave till 10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat, it's eight o'clock. I'm low key thinking Starbucks, but, I don't know, I'm in Texas, man. I wanna try some Texas food. So I found this robot and I scanned my, my what's this called? My boarding pass. I scanned my boarding pass and it tells me everything I need to know. So, that's awesome. Thank you, technology. 
for being cool. So, I landed at this place called Hickory. I'm pretty sure it's like a barbecue type spot. Barbecue at eight in the morning does not sound bad. I'm excited, man. I haven't sat down in a restaurant by myself, at, like ever. So, it's pretty interesting. Avocado toast for $14.95. Are you kidding me right now? I might get <laughs> this. I might, I might get this. It says, ain't your average grilled cheese and you can add smoked brisket for $7. I'm about to order a $20 sandwich. This, this is gonna be worth it. Got me a nice little OJ. Let's see how this is. Dallas OJ. You know, I was making a joke. I didn't know it was gonna taste different, but it actually does taste different. Wow. This orange juice, you don't get much of the tangy aftertaste of it. Like, whenever I drink orange juice, like the aftertaste is always like, but this is like smooth. This is like orange juice alcohol right here. All right. Holy shit. This, this looks so long. Oh my god. All right, first bite. I'm so excited. Dude, this is the greatest sandwich I have ever had in my life. At an airport, bro. This food is so good. You guys eat this on the regular, Dallas? You guys eat this regularly? This food is absolutely delicious, dog. Oh my God. And bro, it has like a little bit of strawberry jam. It's like sweet and savory, bro. Look at this. Look at that cheese, it's like a crust, but it's melty. And the brisket is so juicy and tender. Okay. Oh, man. Is tasty? I've lived in San Diego, and I've never had a sandwich like this, as good as this, dude. This is probably <laughs> the best here. sandwich I've ever had in my life. How's the bacon that for you? It's pretty good. It's a little overcooked, the pasta, but I'm chilling with it. I don't know really anything. But dude, this sandwich, greatest, th greatest thing I've ever had in my life. I swear. You that? Thank it's you. Good <laughs> hey, this server is getting a tip. I'll tell you that. All right. Man, that was so good, bro. There was seating out here. I could have had a, a spot by the window, seeing the planes go out. Are you kidding me? And I didn't even realize it. I don't care, man. That Hickory, Hickory by Kent Rathbud. Crazy food. Loved it. But I gotta do some walking, man. I gotta, I gotta lay off this this grilled cheese. Everything's bigger in Texas. What you mean by that? I just played the craziest temple run game of my life. There's like a million people back there. I had to go left, right, jump up. I had to go, I had to duck under some people, man. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I got a, a nice little view right here. Some planes leaving, look at that. I was recording some B-roll and this this kid or guy, I don't know, he was sitting he was sitting next to my camera because my camera was here and the dude was sitting next to it. So he was watching me like set it up and like go back and forth and stuff. So So he's looking at me super weird and I go pick up my camera and I start walking away. And before I walk away, I'm like, you should check out the channel, man. And I swear he does this. 
I'm sorry, what did I do? <laughs> I probably bothered him, so my bad. My bad, G. And also, when I was going through TSA, when I got through the security checkpoint, the lady at, like at the end, she was like, oh my God, you have so much hair. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to get a haircut. She's like, yeah, but it's like thick. Like, you got a bed full of hair. I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I walked away. I don't know if I, I'm, I'm gonna take that as a compliment because I mean, dude, I do got some some nice hair. All right, I'm probably gonna, what time is it? I have a little bit, so I might just charge my camera here for a little bit and then start walking again. Yo, one thing that Dallas has is good food, good meat, right? But with good meat comes a lot of consequences. Those bathrooms are insane. They steam. I need water. Freaking thirsty, bro. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, never mind. We got some water right here. I thought it was Dasani water, bro. Dasani water? Disgusting. Let me have my water, bro. Karma struck. I don't know for what. I probably cut someone off on the freeway. But the other vending machine with the smart water just decided not to work today. So I was forced to grab a Dasani. It's all good. I'll drink this Dasani with pride. I just saw a dad say bye to his wife and two kids, his two daughters. It sucks, man. If uh, anyone watching does has to go through that type of stuff, you're strong, man. I remember when I had to do it, y'all are strong. Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard American Airlines flight and nonstop service to Manhattan, Kansas, operated as American Eagle.